Hey everyone, so I thought I'd do a really quick updates video. I apologise for the lighting. It's about 7 or 8 o'clock at night and I've just gotten home from work so it's not exactly the best time to film a video but um, I felt like I had to do this video because I've had so many people complaining telling me that I need to give you guys updates and I'm not being fair because I'm leaving you all hanging without any idea as to what is going on. Um, so yeah basically I'm just doing this video just so that I can kind of get quite a few people off my back um, because I just feel like I'm having to explain myself to you guys where I don't really feel that I should have to explain myself but it's just getting to the point where I feel like I'm being pressured into um, having to explain myself to people on the internet who have never met um, but yeah anyways um, updates um, first update is that Humbug passed away about three maybe four weeks ago um basically she was very poorly for a couple of days and i was trying to get into a vet and the vets were like oh no we've not got no appointments and this that and the other and then like when i finally managed to get her an appointment and they managed to slot her in um that morning she actually passed away in my hands so i went to go check on her um on the night before I went to sleep and I had her laying on my chest pretty much all night um, and I just fell asleep and she was just laying there um, but I woke up about halfway through the night she was asleep so I put her back in her cage um, just so that she could get comfy and that I could actually go to sleep properly um, but that morning about seven o'clock I went to go check on her I um, could see that her breathing was very faint so I picked her up and basically cuddled her in my hands um, and she passed away within five minutes of me getting her out of her cage so it felt like she waited for me um, but that was really really sad and I didn't even expect that because Humbug was still quite young um, so that happened um, like I said about three or four weeks ago um, Snowball passed away um, a couple of months ago now I can't remember if I actually updated you guys with that but Snowball did pass away a couple of months ago with all of his health problems and everything um, in the end it just got too much for him and he just couldn't fight anymore um, so he did sadly pass away um, but apart from that I've still got all the other pets um, Bear is now in the hamster heaven but a scotch is in the um, Mary Munchkin is still in the hamster heaven Blizzard is still in that cage up there and then Nemo is still in his bin cage which is just under that table over there and then we've got the gerbil still in their gerbilarium and then obviously Remy still in his, uh, still in his iMac over there um, all the pets are doing really well they've now got no health issues um, they're all doing really well so I don't really know what to update you guys on with that um, other than obviously the two that have passed um, they're all doing really well I can't really say anything other than that because of there's nothing to say really, they're all coming along really well. Um, Squeak's taming's actually come on really well as well. Um, yeah, they're all doing really good. I've moved my room around again, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've got like a massive bed kind of in the middle of my bedroom now, so the pets just kind of had to be separated a little bit. Um, so I put those two over there because it was easier. Then I kept like all the hamsters over this side of my bedroom, but unfortunately Nemo did end up with going under the table because of... I can't really fit any more on top of that stack and I have to stand on a chair to get to um, Blizzard as well. So um, yeah, basically the reason I've not been uploading that much is because I'm going through a really really hard time at the minute um, with work, um, personal issues, with my health. I've just got a lot of things going on and a lot of people seem to forget that I'm just a normal person like any other person in this world. I'm nothing special, I'm just a kid that makes YouTube videos in my spare time and um, a lot of people seem to think that I'm glued to the computer 24-7 and I'm glued to my camera and glued to my editing software and everything like that. I'm really not. I work a full-time job, I've got a horse to care for, I've got 15 animals in total to look after. Um, so YouTube obviously isn't on the top of my list. Um, my pets are number one, obviously my work is second, then I've got family and everything else, so YouTube is pretty much at the bottom of that list. Um, and obviously with everything going on with all the issues and 
everything like that. I've just not been feeling motivated to make videos and I broke my laptop as well. So um, I've not had access to editing software or internet. So um, that is also an issue because of I've snapped the charger on it. So unless the charger sits a certain way, it won't charge. So um, that is becoming a bit of an issue because if I nudge it ever so slightly, that's it, that it goes off. So if I'm halfway through uploading a video, that's it. Um, so I have to start all over again, which is making things twice as hard. Um, I've got a lot of people complaining at me because I'm not uploading and I am really really sorry about that and I know that I don't upload as much as I used to but the fact is I'm not a kid anymore. I started my YouTube channel when I was about um, 17 or 18 I think um, and now I'm 20, you know, I've got a full time job, I've got bills to pay, I've got animals to pay for. Um, I just can't be that person that everyone's expecting me to be um, and I do feel really bad about that but you know sometimes I have to put myself first and I have to put my animals first and I can't keep putting people first that I've never met so like you know I can't just kind of bin off other things just because I need to make a YouTube video for you guys um, you know as much as I love making videos it's just not on my list of priorities i only make videos when i have spare time and um it's just not something that really interests me anymore as much as that kind of sounds weird that didn't even make sense but you know um basically i used to be really into making videos and stuff and now i just feel like it's become a chore because i've got that many people pestering me for videos and i've got that many people complaining at me and people posting hate comments all the time because my cages and this that and the other it's just not exciting like it used to be and the pet community has become a horrible place and people are always arguing and um it's just not exactly what it was when i first started and that does kind of demotivate me a little bit but because I've got really supportive um, subscribers, I do feel that obviously I owe you guys something so I do try to make videos as much as I can but it's not always easy and I need you guys to understand that because obviously quite a lot of my viewers are quite young and they're still in school and everything so they don't realise all the struggles which some people go through. Um, so all I'm asking from you guys is if you could be just a little bit understanding of everything which is going on right now obviously i'm not exactly very active on youtube and i am trying my best um to update you all and um like upload videos and stuff i do upload pictures on my instagram quite a lot which i'll leave a link down below because of i upload stuff all the time on there and you will get updates on there quite a lot um but yeah this video has just turned into like a really really rambly video and i am sorry about that but um yeah i don't know when my next video is going to be because of i've got a lot of computer issues and um obviously i've just got a lot of things to deal with right now um hopefully i'll get my other videos edited because i've got about five or six videos that need editing and uploading so hopefully i'll be able to do them when i'm not in work um but yeah like i say all the pets are doing really well storm is coming along really well we think he's older than what i was told though so i got told he was two and a half but we think he's older so he's got a dentist coming out next month um he's been long reigned quite a lot as well now so he is getting pretty good and um he's progressing really well with his training um he's done a bit of jumping as well we've done like a bit of free jumping and he's been like long reining and he's been jumping over ditches and things like that so he is going to be a fantastic little jumping pony so i really cannot wait to get him backed and get him a little rider and possibly get a car on him i think that's going to be really cool um i will try to do more horse videos and stuff because a lot of people have been asking me to do horse videos um i'm not the most experienced horse person um obviously I only got storm four months ago so i am still learning um a few things as well so i will try to do more videos and stuff i'll definitely try to do more videos on the small animals and please 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 um don't kind of like you know pester me all the time for videos and stuff because it's just getting a little bit crazy i've got a ton of videos i need to upload and i know i need to do them and i've got a ton of videos that i need to record and um you know i just feel like i'm getting bombarded with requests and questions and stuff all the time i try my best to answer questions and obviously i try my best to upload as well but obviously my best just isn't good enough at the moment and i do feel really guilty for that um but yeah i am trying guys i am really really trying it's not easy 
um, things have been very very difficult and you know I don't want to explain what's been going on because obviously that's my personal life and that's like my things to deal with but um, yeah I just don't want to kind of blurt out all my personal issues on the internet to people I've never met um, so I'm just going to kind of keep it to a minimum on that Sorry about that guys, my camera shut off halfway through recording that last little bit. Bubbles in there eating some food. I will do cage tours and stuff. Um, I actually, I think I need to record them and do them all because I think I've lost all the footage and everything. But um, yeah, look at that. Gerbil tunnels. I absolutely love looking at the tunnels. It is really, really cool. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to go now because I think this video has just been like a complete rambly video and I don't know if I've actually made any sense throughout this video and I don't actually know if I've updated you guys on everything that I needed to update you on I probably haven't but you know at least I've uploaded a video and kind of explained some things which are going on rather than leaving you in the lurch because of I've had quite a few people being like oh we're unsubscribing because you don't update us no more and this that and the other you know if you're not happy with my channel no more then please just unsubscribe and just you know um, you know where the unsubscribe button is. I am sorry if I can't be the person that you want me to be. I'm sorry that I can't upload as much as I used to and, you know, it's not exactly easy being in the situation I'm in but I am really, really trying. Um, so yeah, anyways, as always, thank you so much for the support, guys. I know that there are some of you who are really supportive and you comment on every single video and the comments I received on the video of Storm um, I can't even remember what I called it, uh, Sugar, I can't even remember what it's called, but I uploaded a video with Storm and kind of like put a massive paragraph in the description as to why I wasn't uploaded anymore. Um, a lot of people read that and the amount of comments I received were just overwhelming because half of them actually made me cry and I was really, really grateful for that because it made me see just how kind that some people are, even though I've never met people from YouTube, um, the amount of kind comments and things I got was really, really surprising and I was really grateful for that. So thank you so much guys. And, um, yeah, hopefully my next video will be up soon, but until then, please just bear with me just whilst I try to sort everything out. So yeah, as always, thank you so much for the support and thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. Bye.